Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back with another tutorial. Um, today's tutorial is going to be the sniper scope spin effect. Um, it's just that a few people have been saying to me, you know, I've only just got Sony Vegas, and you know they're trying to learn some really nice effects which are a bit more simple. Um, so that's what this is going to be today. So straight away, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. Um, here it is, the spin effect. So yeah, um, that's the sniper scope spin effect. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do that in Vegas. So let's um, jump straight in. <clears throat> um, right. So uh, the first thing what we're going to want to do is find out um, the spot when you've just fully zoomed in. So you can see in the preview window there, um, it's about there for me. Um, so what you want to do first of all is press S on the keyboard. So we split the video. And then you want to make sure you've got it on best and full because we're going to be taking a snapshot, so you need the best quality. Um, so up here, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, click save snapshot to file, and then simply click save. Um, you'll then the picture will then go into your project media, and that's the picture we're going to be using. So just simply drag that over there for a second, and pull that down. Uh, for some reason, Sony Vegas makes the pictures quite long, but we won't need hardly any of that. So click in the middle somewhere about there. Press S on the keyboard and just press delete. So now we've got a nice small section in the middle. <coughs> um, so the way that we make it spin, just pull this up next to it, is you want to click on this button here, which is the event pan crop button. And you just want to make sure it's on here, maintain aspect ratio no, which is probably the same for your whole video. Um, and then what we're going to do is we, I'm just going to use the mouse wheel to um, zoom out a bit. Or you can use the zoom tool there. And what we're going to do is we're going to select, this is entirely up to you how many spins you want, you know, what angle you want it to spin from. But uh, in my tutorial, I think I just spun it about to around about there like that. And then all you just simply do is have a look on your timeline here. And that's the second marker. So I don't want it to last a second. I want it to last about half a second. So simply click a keyframe there. And then all I'm going to do is go back to my normal preset and click YouTube HD so then it's reset to square so if you were to go back now and just use the arrow keys to go across so uh, right there let's have a look. so it would start there and then it would simply spin in like so and the spins actually finished by there already so the rest of this um, the video here we wouldn't actually need so you could actually find usually going back to the arrow keys find the spot where the spins pretty much finished two or three keyframes after like that Press S on the keyboard and then just press delete. Oops. Delete that. So that's the only length we need for the photo. Then it's entirely up to you what effects you want to add after that. Like the what I did in the in the preview is actually made the uh, uh, the video blurry as it came in. So you can go to your video effects and go to Gargasian Blur and simply drop on um, a medium blur to the video. So the first keyframe here is going to be medium blur. So you can see up there, you can't see anything. But what I'm going to do, um, about here, set a frame and click reset to none. So what basically happens is <clears throat> it starts off blurry. I'll use my arrow keys to go across. And as it spins in like so, it comes nice and clear just in time for the kill. Uh, one thing you may notice, which you might not be able to see on this preview video, is that... Um, I've done it in Black Ops here, but <clears throat> I don't know if it's the same for uh, MW2 or COD4, but um, the black over here and over here is darker than the actual black around the um, scope, which obviously you can see it spinning in, so it doesn't look very good. So what you want to do is you want to go over here and go to right-click over here, insert a new video track, um, and what you want to do is just drag it to the bottom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Media Generators and pick Solid Color and simply drag that down here. Uh, we only need it um, just under the length of the video, so even that would do there. And then all you simply need to do is, you see this button here which says Generate Media, the green one? Click on that. And then simply there's a pen tool over here. This is to pick the same color as anything on the preview window. So click that 
and then all you want to do is click on the the gray slash black which is around the scope and then you'll see it match the whole window the same color so you won't actually sp see the window spinning so if I was to do it again this time let's go back starts off nice and blurry comes in with a spin and bang straight into the kill you can also add another two effects and um, you could add um, on the second keyframe here where it's fully sp spun in you could actually add say let's say it was a, a collateral or a hedge you know double headshot something like that you could actually use your window to zoom in so let's make it even try keep it by a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so it doesn't go all squashed up so you can see there now that's really zoomed in on the on the sniper and you can obviously see a lot more clear what's you know say especially if you've got a triple or a quad so as it spins in as well it starts to zoom in quite large like that and you can clearly see down the cyperscope so um, yeah that's basically how you do it uh, as always if you've got any questions or queries you know feel free to send me a message or a comment I try to reply to all of them um, if any of you guys found this useful uh, you know please click the like button always helps and um, yeah that's it for today guys cheers